Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Genie Coder here with another video, with a great video today. Now today I'll be talk, going over sort of like my preparation um, that I did, guys. So because I know a lot of you guys have asked me before about my preparation, uh, and you guys want to know what what did I do to prep, you know, how's my preparation like. So in this video I'll be going over um, sort of like my pre the preparation that I did, and uh, hopefully you guys can use the, that preparation as a guide, and hopefully you land whatever job that you guys are going after. So. Uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. So how did I start doing lead code, guys? I started doing lead code in spring of 2020, right? Pretty much around February of 2020, right? So my friend kind of introduced me to that platform, right? So he told me about this whole lead code thing. Before that, I knew nothing about lead code. I didn't know what lead code was. I knew what it was used for. I knew nothing about lead code, right? So um, my friends are very smart guys. Work at all the big companies, right? Got se had several offers. Um, pretty much he has mastered uh, the, the lead code thing, I'm saying pretty much. That's how you get offers pretty much so he, he's mastered that skill right so um so pretty much i started february of 2020 right and uh, my microsoft uh interview was uh, started in august of 2020 right so you can see the amount of time that i had to prepare right so um but in, in between that time right i interviewed a couple of different companies right i'm saying before that right so one major company right that's where my friend works at right now right that i interviewed um uh, so going through the interview process right that's kind of what helped me um do good when the microsoft interview came, came around later on in the year right? i was a lot better uh i do a lead code right and also i was able to refine my interview prep and also kind of you know uh learn from all the mistakes that i that i you know made in the first major in interview um process that i went through you know i'm saying so uh, if you guys wanted me to talk about that interview um experience that i had with that major company uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll make a separate video about that. You know, it's, it's even crazier than the video that I made about Microsoft. So let me know in the comment section. All right. First things first, right? You know, I revisited my data structures and algorithms, right? You know, even though I went to school for computer engineering, I had to refresh my mind and also um, gain a deeper understanding of the data structures, guys. So um, that's a very crucial part. You, know, you need to understand those high level concepts. Uh, really really well right pretty much you know there's a lot different there's a lot there's a lot to learn there right oh uh, there's a lot of topics guys you know pretty much you know pretty much learn about you know the arrays of um, stacks queues linked lists trees uh tries i'm um, saying also graphs right uh we pretty much uh breadth for search depth for search right how uh, to use that also hash tables uh heaps sorting and searching guys i'm saying there's all there's other topics i need to learn but you know visit those main topics right they're, they're very very important right especially in your preparation so but arrays and link lists is a very good thing to understand i'm saying it's easy for beginners to understand and it's going to help you a lot along the long run i'm saying so you make sure you learn all those things right definitely youtube was a great resource for me when i was you no know, uh refreshing my mind on the different topics right mit courseware is a very very great resource right very good uh playlist to go into there's all, there are several so i, I went through the mit right also looked at the different ones right free curriculum academy those kind of helped me as well right and the other resource that i gonna be t i'm talking about right now definitely from uh geek for geeks right so this website is a you know it's a very very good website guys you know helped me a lot in learning the algorithms right but you know this one's good because there's questions associated with it, with it right so um pretty much easy question to kind of help you help you get your feet wet you know when you're doing those when we first start doing this problem guys so I highly recommend uh, that website. As you guys can see, right, this website has all of the data structures that you need to learn about. Arrays, link lists, stacks, queues, all the things that I talked about. They have them, guys. You know, they have detailed explanations on them. And then also got questions associated with them, right? And they also have the um, the different um, algorithms that you need, right? I'm saying divide and conquer that programming, you know, pretty much everything you need. This website, you know, is a very good resource. So I used it and it was very helpful. And my preparation so i recommend that right yeah guys so the second thing that i did right we pretty much learn about relearn about big notation right you know it's a very good thing to understand make sure that you get you and you understand guys able to analyze the runtime of your solution right that's a very important aspect guys when you're coming up with solutions right because you want to be able able to differentiate between a good solution and a bad solution right you know, between a good solution and a better solution right optimal one and uh not optimal one you know what i'm saying so you need to get that down pack right able to know the worst case scenario in the runtime 
for your solution guys i'm saying yeah so youtube is definitely a great resource for that guys you know pretty much there's a lot of people talking about vegan notation so make sure you get that down pack because it's a important aspect for you to be successful in your liquor journey guys so and also guys you know uh geek for geeks is a very great resource uh for that uh there's um they have a whole uh, section dedicated to it so pretty much you can learn about all the different time and space complexities guys you know you need to know about the trade-offs between time and space guys so also make sure you master that so spend some time on that and make sure that you are good on that and then that um you're in pretty good shape and you can continue um with your um, preparation so pretty much the third thing that i did guys i pretty much you know i uh, had to pick a language right you know so pretty much choose a language that's gonna that you're gonna stick with guys you know pretty much that's gonna be you know the, the language that you're gonna use to solve whatever problem that's given to you right so pretty much you need to use a language that has a lot of support right that's easy to use as the syntax or not too hard right and uh yeah so don't use something like c right because c is pretty much like taking the interview on hard mode right because not a lot of support or i'm saying their structure support um for the problem that you're trying to solve right but so i would recommend something like python python is a very good um beginner friendly language and then uh, it's uh, more intuitive uh, when it comes to it right i end up going with java guys because java is a very mature language there's a lot of support for it out there right there's, there's a lot of solutions on that uses on java and uh yeah it's, it's, it's a very good language actually i like the data, data structure support that uh that's included in java pretty much that's why i end up going with java so i love java a lot so the uh, after you do that guys the next thing that i'll probably you know start doing um i had to pretty much had to learn uh i had to learn about the data structures right for that that's including that language right so pretty much i would go in there and say i say i wanted something like hash map right i'll go in there and look at the um different methods right that are available pretty much you know those are the tools that have available to me in that language to solve whatever problem right so pretty much um i would go i would go i would go over to the um to geek for geeks right geek for geeks there and uh they they have uh pretty much guys and everything that you need right pretty much say i'm want to use something like a hash map right um they have it there so pretty much they show me how to use it right how to you to utilize that you know and the different apis that are available to me right so pretty much you could, i can put stuff in the hash map right then i could you know pretty much um see if it contains it or if it you know and i could retrieve it right so it's so, a so yeah, they show a lot of good examples and I like it a lot, right? So I use that a lot. And then not only that guys, there they have a uh they have a section guys where you can see all the different methods that are included are included in that um in that data structure, right? So hash map right has all of those different methods, guys. So clear, clone. So pretty much all of those things, guys, I'm saying they became very helpful to me. So I could just go there, pretty much they you could, I could click on them and then I'm gonna go there, bring bring me to another page, right? So that page pretty much gonna give me an example of how to uh, use uh, that um how to use that uh, different uh, that particular method right because how useful it can be and how it can help me out so I'm telling you guys a very great resource especially when you try whatever language that you want to use guys Geek for Geeks has your back right so I would go for there right? um, yeah guys you want to make sure that you know you're very good at the language that you chose right you know because because that's gonna be the language that you're gonna be using right you want to be so comfortable with it that you know whatever solutions that you need to write out you could easily write it out without any problem right without having to think about the syntax that's needed to do whatever thing you're trying to do right because you want to spend the time actually thinking about the problem not about the syntax so so yeah now so after i did all those things guys i was ready to start my leaco journey guys so pretty much what i would do guys you know i would probably much go to leco.com right and then I'll sort the questions by easy problems, right? So pretty much you have to start with easy first, guys, and work your way up into the mediums, right? And eventually get to the hard one, guys. So you want to start with easy first, obviously, because you know you're lacking knowledge, right? So I was lacking a lot of like I didn't know anything, guys. So I was very, very bad when I first started. I couldn't even solve the two sum problem, guys. So it was extremely difficult. Um, I, yeah. So pretty much that was the first problem that he did ever. You know I'm saying, and I struggled, guys. I couldn't even come up with the uh, brute force solution. So yeah it was crazy guys so pretty much um well I, so what you normally have to do guys you know pretty much uh you sort it by easy and then you do the easy ones first right and then work your way to medium right so pretty much guys i the, the workflow for me right how i normally do it i choose the question right and pretty much what i would do i would you know try to solve it myself right I'll spend about 20 to 30 minutes if i can't really come up with a solution guys i'll go to Lico right now and then look for a video explanation of the solution right so that i could kind of gain the intuition later on you know i'm saying so and then after that i would go back to uh leak code and then try to implement it myself guys so that, that that's how the whole workflow work forwards for me right and then if i also another uh, place that i also go to i go to 
the uh, the discussion section of Liku and I look at the solution guys and I you know try to you know gain whatever like you know uh, pattern that that's needed right you know what I'm saying and try to understand the logic that's needed to solve those kind of problems guys I, I don't try to memorize it because memorizing is not gonna help me at all so I I would recommend you guys you know just don't memorize and then pretty much you know uh, kind of look at what what they're trying to do and then trying to you know implement it yourself right and when you first start out you're probably not gonna be able to solve a lot of the questions you have to see a lot of different problems guys so you could have some uh, have tools in your tool tool belt guys pretty much as you're solving the problems guys you know you're pretty much adding pretty much getting tools right pretty much getting like you know like you know uh you're adding a particular pattern to your tool belt so i do i know how to do sliding window now right i know how to do all two pointers now i know how to do i'm saying reversals of link list right so you're getting all tools to add to your tool belt guys as you're doing problems right? so that when you come up like you know with a different problem what i'm saying you've never seen before you're able to solve it guys so pretty much Start doing easy problems first, then go into mediums, right? You know, and then do some parts, right? So pretty much, um, do as much medium as possible, guys. You know, so that you could really, really get better at the, uh, at the managing. You know what I'm saying like people solve interview problem, guys. So a lot of the question comes from medium questions, right? So do as much medium as possible, or a lot of different topics as possible, guys. So that's definitely going to be useful for you guys. So also, guys, know when I'm trying, I try to do a problem, right? I say you no, know, um, I was able to solve it. I had to look at the solution. I would pretty much write uh, write it down uh, some kind of note right and then you know save it for later and then run it back later uh, like another day and then um so you could really you know make sure that you understood the problem not memorize but understood the um the solution and you could code it up without having to memorize what i'm saying so it's a very very useful make sure you write it down right and then run it back another day and then i'll see if you can solve it there i'm saying so another great resource that i came across is definitely this uh article uh it's a very good one guys you know um this really helped me a lot uh, when I, you know, when I was prepping for my interviews, guys, pretty much it teaches you all about the common patterns that are needed to solve uh, coding interview question, guys. Pretty much you learn about sliding window, uh, two pointers, uh, fast and slow, and all sorts topological sort, dynamic programming, all of those things you learn from on um, that article, guys. And what's really good with that article, guys, you know, pretty much it has um, simple, um, it has problem names of problems, right? So pretty much it. it shows you the algorithm visually right which is a very good thing because i'm a visual person so you see it visually right and then now after you learn that right you could go ahead and pretty much look up that uh question you know what i'm saying and then you go to leak the code right and then you try to solve it right with what you just learned so it's a very good way to uh really get into that right? it's a very good way to prep so highly suggest i guess check that resource out yeah guys one of the best thing you could do pretty much you know um whatever company that you're interviewing with right pretty much you click on that company right and then you s sort it by frequency guys you know based on whatever company that you're doing right and then you do the problems on from there right you know you do you know all the most the, the most frequent one to the least frequent one guys so it's a very good way to prep you know i'm saying especially if you're short on time another set of questions i also um recommend you guys doing is the blind top 75 guys so um this is a very very good set of questions pretty much you know uh, those questions pretty much will get you ready for the interviews guys pretty much you'll learn all the patterns that you need uh to solve whatever problem comes up in the interview setting you know what i'm saying this question was made by uh this list was made by uh this guy at facebook uh it's a he's a tech lead so yeah so it's, it's a very good list to uh to go through and um to get you even more ready for the interview so i, I went through it and it really helped me a lot so and after i was done doing leaker right i started learning about different topics right like os concepts and object oriented design because they're most likely going to be asking you those type of questions as well so what i did for that right, i went to youtube and the app and i put os concepts right and i will watch all the videos guys you know about os right so i watched this video that was a, that was a pretty good one I mean, there's a lot of different resources good as well right a lot of different resources on youtube really to kind of gain uh con like, you know understanding of the different concepts like threads and processes right, right? how they interact with each other and all that so uh, all of th those things play a role so i would watch that as well so after you're done doing the preparation guys you know now it's time to put it to use right pretty much you should start doing mock interviews so you can kind of get ready you know like you know to improve your like you know your communication skills you know and how to walk through your code and your thought process out loud and really prepare for that right so a good way is to have like a friend you know do a mock interview with with your friend so they, they can kind of give you feedback and you could improve based on the feedback that you get right so uh if you don't have any friends like you know uh, another uh way that you could also uh, do that uh, is using prep right prep is a very good website that i recommend as well 
right? Uh, it's uh, pretty much you could, you could go on there, guys, you know, and set up, you know, mock interviews with other people on this platform that are also in, um, like prepping for the interviews as well. So pretty much it's a good way, you know what I'm saying, to really uh, get practice for your interview, guys, you know, be able to talk out loud and communicate, right? Pretty much, you know, think about your thought process, right? Pretty much getting you interview ready, guys. So you need to really master the skill as well, right? Be able to uh, talk your um, about your solution out loud and be able to uh, just explain everything, you know, in a career way and then um yeah so you guys go on there pretty much easy you should just start practice session um you could schedule one you know i'm saying i used it myself i used it a couple times um i did some mock interviews with friends right and also did some uh, mock interview on prep as well so um yeah man it's a, it's a, it's a very very good one i would recommend that since I used it. So, so yeah, guys, this is pretty much my preparation. This is what I follow whenever I'm interviewing companies, guys. So, I'm not saying this is the perfect way to do it. Obviously, there's room for improvement, but you know, this is what I, I normally do whenever I'm interviewing companies. So, um, you guys should tell me whatever. How do you guys prep for interviews? That let me know in the comment section. Uh, I might take a look and hopefully, you know, I could find some good ways to prep and I could add it to my interview preparation and uh, hopefully improve uh, my interview preparation, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So if you guys found value in the video, you know what I'm saying, make sure to give me a like. Uh, if you guys are new here, subscribe to this channel because, um, you know, we're building a, an awesome community here and um, it'll be, I uh, will be extremely happy to have you guys here. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.